Pisces, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading for Born Without Boundaries. No, I'm not thinking of flipping to a new POV. I just broke my camera stand. So um, expect this for the next week or so until my new camera stand comes back in because I love to be able to like display the cards and have more room. Anyway, now you know, and please, please forgive this if, if, if it's uncomfortable for you. Um, let's get right into your reading, Pisces. This is for Pisces, sun, moon, rising sign. I mean, always check your rising sign, hands down, but sun, moon, rising, how do you check your rising sign? How do you get your rising sign? Go to astrologycafe.com and you can run a free natal chart. There's um, a lot of different places where you can run a free natal, natal chart, but I just really love their system and I'm, it's really reliable. So I always recommend them. In order to get your rising sign, you're definitely going to have to know your place of birth, the time of birth, and of course, you know, other information that you already know, which is like, you know, your sex and your date of birth. <laughs> Um, but it's easy to get. So Pisces, good thing to look into. Jumping out already. Lots of, lots of information for you. Maybe unseen love or romance. Ooh, no, a snake in the grass. Oh, um, healing, some sort of healing, healing when it comes to love. What is crowning your energy, Pisces? Um, set healthy boundaries and now is a lucky time. Woo, woo, Pisces. I'm telling you, you're gearing up for leveling up. That's what you're doing. But you, and this is why Spirit is saying, my lovely, beautiful Pisces, be wary. Why? Because good things are happening and that is when you most tend to let your boundaries or guard down. This is Cancerian energy too. So this is protective or defensive energy. Depend, maybe it def this protective and defensive energy is helping you. Maybe it's a friend that's basically taking the hits for you or helping you out or, you know, doing things or working in your favor. Some it's your your abundance is multiplying that's what this means that's what this energy is this is a great time for you to level up and move forward in your life and really really like gains fortune happiness money finance opportunities all those things coming into you but please do remember to protect yourself especially when times are going good it is easy for us to let our walls too down in other words listen if you're leveling up in your life, Pisces, then you got to level up your professional game. You know what I'm saying? You can't walk into the room like you owe everybody just for being there. No, you're a partner at the table. You've got something to say and you were invited into every room that you were in because you belong there and because you have value. So never, 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 never let go of your value to be like, oh, I'm so happy. Oh my God, I appreciate this so much. That's it. No more. No more of that kind of like, like passive energy or, or just, you know, being all gushy all over the place. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, know your worth. You got here for a reason. So every room that you enter, you have to bring your professional game. That's what this crowning energy is about. What also came out? Ooh, this love, you're leveling up too. Love, happiness, abundance, you're healing. All of those past hurts, past pains, past poisons, you are being able to sort of heal and outgrow. And I think that it's this leveling up. It's, 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 not, it's happening at the same time, not an accident. It's like this leveling up comes while the healing is happening or the healing has precipitated this leveling up. Why? Because once you learn to respect yourself and be on your own side, well, then the world opens up its doors for you. Okay, let's keep going because this is a pretty awesome energy, Pisces. Lots of opportunities opening up to you today. It's a very good day for Pisces. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. What, what needs to be said to Pisces? What energy do I need to know? More energy for Pisces. There is change coming when it comes to love. Because 5-5 five, five is definitely a number of change. Maybe changing who you love or how you love or how much you need love to be in your life right now. Oh, okay. This is know your worth. What did I just say? Know your value. Stop. Put, don't put on perfume. Don't try to smell like something that you're not. You're a skunk. If this is this is the little skunk card. This is the no, I love my own stank. It protects me. It protects me. So walk in with your stank out. 
Pisces, seriously, because it will protect you. You don't have to blend in. Resist the temptation to blend in or pretend like everything's okay when it's not. Watch your words. This is so important with all this air energy floating around us is know how to communicate and know what to say. And honestly, this is your central energy. 45, this is coming to a head. So what you will say... Words or negotiations will play a strong role in your success this week. So Pisces, be sure you watch what you say and how much you say. Like, be sure you watch how much you say. Let them do most of the talking. Let them lay things out. But every time you open your mouth, be very, very strategic with your words. Don't copy what they say. Don't say what you think they want you to say. Don't be a parent. This is the energy of... Um, parroting somebody or, or, you know, going along with whatever they say or, or saying or feeding back to them like a parrot would, uh, uh, what they've said to you. This is be, be very, very cautious with that kind of behavior. Uh, watch your words, watch what you say and sweet results await. Look at this energy that just, this is like Something that you have worked very, very hard for is coming to abundance and fruition in the next seven to 10 days. That's what this means. And this is one of my favorite energies in the deck. It's Leo energy. It's a, it's, so it's empowered by a strong sense of power, a strong sense of self, a strong sense of future, which is what fire is. But remember, you have forged this future. You have made it. You have earned it. This bee ain't sipping on honey that somebody delivered to him. The bee made the honey. So really respect and appreciate this is the time that you get to like lap it up. Lap up the sweetness of your own hard work. What queen bee? Hey. That's what your, that's what your energy is. And like it's not, it's not an accident that that's card is seven, right? You, something that you've created. You've worked on this honey. That's why you have the honey because you made it. So just remember that every time, and honestly, when you get watch your words as your central energy, I want you to listen more than you speak this week. I think that'd be a really good strategy for you is to listen more than you speak. And when you speak, use your words sparingly. Shit. Like, like let them, let them make up in their own minds what they think you are. Sing your own song. That energy popped up really wonky and kind of upside down. This is you in the past not having sung your own song. This is you not knowing what your song is, not knowing what to say or repressing or suppressing your song for the benefit of somebody else. That actually just clarified, that clarified the, the snake energy. That's what's healing this week. That's what's healing this week. Also, you searching for words to say the right thing. Don't search too hard. Don't search too hard. The right words are always the ones at the tip of your tongue, even if you're afraid of them. I know. They've probably gotten you in trouble before. But Pisces, what you consider trouble, a fire sign would laugh at and forget in a second. So just remember it's all about perspective. Um, be loyal to what you love and you have been. Bring a gentle touch. You can walk into the room with your head held high. Um, this, is, this is love. Be loyal to what you love. Be loyal to the people who helped you. These are people being surrounded by loving energy, people who care about you, people who have supported you, people who have um, um, always been there for you. This is Virgo energy. So once again, this is nurturing energy. But this is also love, 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 love. Once again, something coming to a head. It's almost like the people who invested in you are right. And you're going to be very happy to share your abundance with them. Trust in the magic and trust. Tr this is your grounding energy. Aquarian energy, Aquarian energy. In Aquarius season, there's lots of abundance and truth. Magic is happening to you. Truth is coming out. Truth is pouring out, right? This is, in other words, even if you tried to hide it, you're not going to be able to, so don't try. Don't waste your energy on it. This is also a new opportunity coming where people see the real you. This is you having worked the magic and made the magic. And that's why, what's, what's, like I said, you're successful. Um, this is also finally a new opportunity coming out or coming to light. 
66. This is some sort of, this has to do with love and romance too. I think that this has to do with growing up and realizing because that's what the dragonfly energy is. It's, it's not that little larva that lives in its own, own emotions anymore. It's matured and now it can fly and go places. And what has helped you fly and go places is sort of like constraining or or getting a hold of what you consider love is. It's not letting, letting yourself love just anybody or fall in love at the drop of a hat, but instead being much more picky and being much more involved in letting your happiness be involved in who you pick as opposed to who chooses you. Because this is all about your selection and what you forged. And Pisces, I think it's really easy for you to decide what you love in terms of career, to commit yourself to some sort of trade or artistry or profession or vocation. But when it comes to love, it's almost like you constantly let people pick you and that has not worked for you in the past. There is a lot of transcendence and healing coming to your whole nature and character this week. That means that with a career opportunity breaking through, I think you're less inclined to settle for who wants you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you realize, oh, I am worth more. <laughs> like that's the kind of energy of, and good, get your cockiness on. You got to throw that cockiness on, put it on. Like I said, you earned it. This is your grounding energy of realizing your true self, realizing that the magic came from you. It didn't come from anybody else, right? Or the people who are surrounding you are the people who always believed in you. And now it's like you finally see it in yourself. You're realizing that it's true, that, 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 what you, that, that what you've worked for is who you are. It's because of who you are that you have what you have. Um, I also think somebody is spotting you. I think that this is magic happening to you and that your light is shining so bright that people can't ignore you. This is very Phoenix energy. Um, it could be Aquarius or Scorpionic energy of just an opportunity being illuminated, something that was um, hidden, something that was um, kept dormant um, is now is now merging. And it's it's like... It's almost like you reprogrammed the game, like you did it. You're the one that made this stuff happen to you. So please remember that when you get into the room and for negotiations, don't be afraid to negotiate your salary. Don't be afraid to say, you know, uh, to, to, um, to say, thank you for this proposal. I actually want $200,000 a year, not 180. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, so don't be afraid to do it because I, I think that, um, well, this is a really good week for you. So 10 to one, uh, it will work out in your favor, whatever you ask for. If you're interested in extended reading, that link is below. I'd be very curious because especially when times are good, you know, I want to know. I'll see you over there, Pisces.